tell me what to say. It's just been so heartbreaking, so hard to tell the last couple of days with so much going on. Yeah. Yes. I would like to start out by inviting my special guest in. Yeah. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You are welcome here. Hallelujah. I rebuke and bind up all demons and satanic forces. Send them back to hell where they belong. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Father God, I ask that you give me wisdom. Yes. Father God, give me wisdom and understanding, mm -hmm. Father God. Yes, Father God, I pray that everything I'm doing today is pleasing to you, yes, that you Lord. get the glory for it, yes, Father yes. God. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay, today I'm going to be, uh, the topic is going to be um, envy and jealousy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, envy and jealousy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start out by reading um, Proverbs, Proverbs right. 17. Uh, Let not thy heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. Yes. Okay. We basically, uh, the times we're living in, we have so many people that are envying and jealous yes. of other people. Yes. And I think this is causing a lot of strife in, in the lives of our young people, you know, mm -hmm. our, um, our families. Yes. You know, there's a lot of animosity, a lot of jealousy, you know, even with parents mm -hmm. are actually favoring one child over another child. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And that child gets envious over the other child. Mm -hmm. And they start to... Um, it causes friction within the family, mm -hmm. among the children, mm -hmm. and among the parents. Mm -hmm. And a matter of fact, um, there's jealousy among husband and wives. Mm -hmm. You know, if the wife is doing something that the husband feels is more uh, powerful than he is, mm -hmm. then there's jealousy among husbands and wives. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of men that want to wear the pants in the family. You know, they don't want the wife to work. They don't want the wife to get paid more money than them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, times have changed. Mm -hmm. And we, we can't hold envy and jealousy in our hearts. Mm -hmm. No way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take you all the way back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, jealousy and envy and envy and been around for a long time, yes. from the beginning of time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm taking you back to Cain and Abel. All right. Amen. Genesis. Cain and Abel were brothers. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot of Indian jealousy among those two brothers. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, those two brothers were. Oh, it was just so heart-wrenching. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou worth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doesn't, if thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, mm -hmm. and unto thee, shall be his desire, yes. and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine being so jealous and so envious of your own brother or sister? that you kill them, that you want so much attention, the attention diverted to all to you, that you hate and you're so jealous that much, that you kill your own flesh and blood. But jealousy and emptiness is not just among families. It's out there in the communities. You know, there's a lot of jealousy and envy where these people are, the young people are getting guns and they're killing one another. 
They're slaying one another right in the streets. Amen. You know, we're walking over blood, stained spots right. in the community. Amen. You know, just today, um, some young person was shot and killed mm -hmm. on 10th and Pine again today. Mm -hmm. And that's heartbreaking. Amen. We was at a prayer vigil yesterday for two young men mm -hmm. that was shot and killed. You know, and, and it, it, to me, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know, we as parents want the best for our children. You know, we want the best for our children. But to see so much jealousy and envy in the communities over turf, over drugs, turf wars, drugs, a block. You, that's my sale. You took my sale. I was supposed to sell them that. You know, go on to get a gun. You know, you get, they get in fights. They don't want to use their hands. If they get beat, then they run home and get a gun. And they shoot the other person. You know, that, that's very sad. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. You know, and we wonder why there's so much jealousy in the communities, so much Indian, enviousness. Did I get that word right? Enviousness. Mm -hmm. It's so much poverty. Our people are living in poverty. If they're out on the corner selling drugs and say Johnny is making fifteen hundred a week. Mm -hmm. Why would Jack? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> God bless you. God bless you. Why would Johnny want to go and get a job at McDonald's? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or why would Johnny want to go get a seven dollar and some cent job per hour mm -hmm. when he's out there hustling and making? What, fifteen, two thousand dollars a week? I don't know how much they make, but I know, you know, they say it's a lot. And now that all these stimulus checks are out, you know, statistics say that the um, drug it, drug rate went up, the suicide rate went up, you know, overdoses went up because they're out there using that money buying the drugs. So we need more love. We definitely need more love. You know, by COVID getting around, sometimes when you're out there in the community, we're out there praying, you know, I just want to take my arms and wrap it around one of those youth and just say, it's going to be okay. Come with us, you know, come with us. You know, they have to know God. They have to know Jesus. They have to turn their lives around. It's hard. And then when we were out there yesterday, it was like Satan was running rampant. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. He was running rampant all through where we were. And you could feel it, you could see it. Uh -huh. And Minister Watermaker stood there and prayed, you know, and and then we had Brother Bilal pray. Uh -huh. You know, we had the Muslim prayer for the ones who were Muslims out there, and we had Minister uh, Watermaker's prayer. Then we had the balloon, the family released, released the balloons. And after they released the balloons, I asked Minister Watermaker and the rest of them that was with us, I said, well, you, you guys, let's go, you're ready. No sooner, let me tell you, no sooner than I left 300 block of 23rd Street Got up to the light at Bader Boulevard. All I could hear was pow, 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 pow. It was like 12 to 15 gunshots that went off that I could thought I'd heard. Police started flying past me as I turned down Bader Boulevard going toward Wilmington Hospital. They were flying up and the ambulance was coming up. And I was like, oh, Jesus, what did happen? Yes. And then I thank God for allowing us to leave yes, 
Amen. when we laugh. You know, sometimes you, well, most of the times, you got to know that voice. Yeah. You got to listen to that voice. Amen. You know, they, they, you got to know that you're listening to the right voice. Amen. The wrong voice would have said, stay. Yes. But my God had a different plan. He said, yes. leave. Amen. Time to go. Time Three to Three blocks away from where we were, another young man got murdered, yeah. shot to death on mm. the street. Mm. A 20-year-old stretched out on the ground in front of his step. That don't make no sense. Mm. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's really heartbreaking. And all because of, I'm going to get you because I don't like you. Mm. I'm going to get you because I'm jealous of you. I'm going to get you because you're getting more attention from the community than I am. Envy and jealousy. That's right. You know, we're, they're growing up with this um, generational curses. I just heard the pastor talk about that, one of the other pastors talk about that today. Generational curses, they've got to be broken. I'm praying right now in Jesus' precious name that our babies, these curses will be broken. You know, they can't, they're not even following in their parents' footsteps because back in the parents' time, they, they these parents didn't run around with guns shooting up each other. No. So this, the generational curse is not that. You know? The parents didn't have guns, you know. They were playing jumping rope and jacks and hide and seek and things like that. Double dutch, you know? pity pat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or the parents were sitting in their house playing cards with their neighbors or friends. And it was peaceful. You could even go to a to the corner store with no worries. You could walk from one side of town to the other with no worries. Try it now. Try it now. Try it now. I remember me and my sisters used to walk from Riverside Tides Lane all the way to 23rd and Carter Street. Try it now. This was like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. But you can't do that now. No. I, I feel so sorry for this generation coming up. Because they're missing out on so much. You know, because then they're stuck in the house now due to COVID. They're not being able to communicate with their friends at school and things like that. It's hard. It's very hard. They don't want to go out. Half of them are afraid they can't go play out in the community in front of their houses because of stray bullets. And they've getting so used to being stuck in the house on those video games and things like that. Yeah. That they don't have no energy to go do anything else. Yeah. What happened to the rocking and true. running and playing kids yeah. like and that. laughter uh, and fun? You don't see that anymore. They don't you see don't that. hear the kids out playing. I don't, I don't hear kids outside playing anymore. Mm -mm. When you're riding through town, all you see is the... the the teen generation or the younger than 20 something hanging on the corners doing what they do best. Yeah. You know, you don't see the children out playing, uh, racing up and down the yeah. block or, or hiding the don't seat, none of that no more. playing ball. They can't even go to the basketball court and play basketball no more. You know, something has to be done. Amen. You know, and we pray. Um, Father God, I pray yes. that, that a change has to come. Yes, a change has yes, to come. Yes. Amen. It's hard. Yes. It's hard. Yes. And it's heartbreaking. You feel it here. Yes. You know, you feel it. Yes. You know, just to see, you know, we've been doing this for quite a while, then to go out and see the bullet casing still on the ground. And the blood stains on the ground. And then all the memorials. If every block you go on, there's a memorial. Yeah. 
Oh, it is. For somebody, balloons mm. and, and uh, candles, teddy bears. I am so tired of seeing memorials with our babies getting killed. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then the, the mothers, the weeping mothers and families and sisters and brothers. There has to be a change. There has to be. And I'm asking God, you know, we go out there and we pray and we ask God for changes. But it's all in His time, not our time. Only God knows. You know, only God knows what needs to be done. But you can't keep doing the same old things and expect different results. You know, we we have to try to do something that's more, how should I put this, more beneficial for the people in the communities. We have to give them something to look forward to, give them yeah. more hope. They need more hope. Amen. They need more faith, number one. They need more faith. They need to turn back to God. They need to turn to Jesus. You know, these, the parents uh, either send their children to church reluctantly, or the children go reluctantly. You know, when we were growing up, we better go to church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have no other choice. We better go to church. <laughs> You, if you didn't go to church, you wouldn't. You couldn't go to movie theater. Right My there. grandma made us go. You couldn't go out Saturday night because you had to get up early on Sunday morning. We did Bible study. Mom, you live in my household. You gonna serve the Lord? I know that's right. You gonna serve the Lord? Girl, that's right. You gonna serve the Lord? Remember, vacation Bible study. Remember that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and it just needs to stop. We just need to give love, peace, and understanding. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for listening to me today. Amen. And Father God in heaven, you give all the glory, and I Amen. thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.